So this whole idea of, of stretching uh, horizontally or compressing a function horizontally, let's let's look at something like like one fourth times the square root of one fourth, uh, the square root of one fourth x. So what this does is this this is being this is the square root function, which is being stretched by a factor of four. Because remember it's one over whatever the stretch factor is. So. Um, and this is on the book in section 1-4, if you want to take a look at one of those examples. So, if I were looking at the plain old square root of x, and if x equals 1, um, that means y is going to be the square root of 1, or, or 1, and then, so that would be, uh, let's see what that can look like. 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 4, 2, right? Square root of 4 is 2. And if I'm getting a function that's stretched by a factor of 4, that means when x equals 4, I'm getting the same result as y equals 1. And when x equals um, um, 16, uh, I'm sorry, when x equals 4, that's like going out to 16. One, let's see, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So when x equals 16, that, that's going to be the same as, because if you look at right, 16 divided by 4, or 1 fourth is 16, is 4. So it's going to act, it's going to act, way out here at x equals 16 is going to act like what happens when x equals 4 in the unstretched function. So that's going to be be here. So do you see how this is is stretched out? And what I did is I multiplied those numbers, the old numbers, by 4. So with that function that you're dealing with, if you have, if you have, um, it was what, f of negative 1 fourth x, well, the negative is another whole issue, but 1 fourth x, so they're telling me if x equals 5, y equals negative 4, so that, that means it's going to act like it's going to be way out at 20. x equals 20. See, just like I multiplied each of these, the 1 I multiplied by 4 and the, and the 4 I multiplied by 4. So this, that's what you'll do here. You're going to take the, the 5 and multiply it by 4 because it's, the, cause it, cause it's the 1 fourth. So then, um, how do we deal with the negative? So I've got this point that's being slid way out here uh, at 24. I know this is not negative 4. Uh, when I wrote the slide, I had that point wrong. But it'll illustrate what we're going to do. So I'm way out here at 20. And then because it's been reflected, the negative when it's inside the, 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 the argument of the function, is the, the function gets reflected, the values get reflected around the y-axis. So... The positive 20 becomes negative 20, but the y value stays the same. But that doesn't change because it's basically a it's symmetric around the y-axis. So that multiple choice question, yeah, that was way down here at 20, negative 4. Well, that gets reflected around the x-axis, and that's why the new x is negative 20, but the y doesn't change. The y stays at negative 4. So I hope that helps you understand what's going on here. Um, if you want, let's look at another one. So suppose they gave me this function. It's got uh, a horizontal uh, stretch, uh, no, a horizontal compression by a factor of, well, let's see, remember, it's 1 over A, so that would be a compression by a half, so it's growing more quickly than normal. It's been reflected around the y-axis. It's also been reflected around the x-axis. So the example that I did for the stretching is I wrote the square root of 2x. Well, if we think about the square root of x, that's going to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2. And because it's being compressed, it's growing faster, that means when x equals 1 half, if, see, because if x equals 1 half, let's see, let me get ready and go in here, 1 half, if I substitute 2 times 1 half into that function, that's going to be like the square root of the square root of 1, which is 1. So it's growing faster than what it did normally. Uh, the same thing, if x equals 2, that's going to be like the square root of 4. 
So when x equals 2, so y jumps up to positive 2. If I go to, to uh, um, what do I want to do? If I went to 4 and a half, if x equals 4 and a half, well, 4, nice, 4x. 4 and a half, and I multiply that by 2, that's like the square root of 9. So at 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half, that's going to be acting like the square root of 9, growing much faster than what it normally did. And that's what this function's happening. It's growing faster. So notice how I cut those values in half because of the, because of the growth. So the y values, remember, stay the same, except with this one, it's going to get reflected around the y-axis, so that will it'll change signs. But if I look at the, neg the negative inside, that tells me I'm going to reflect it around the y-axis. So I'm going to take, take this value, cut it in half because of, of the compression factor, and then I'm going to reflect it around. So let me maybe I liked what I did with the other equation. Let's see if I can't do that here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 7. I'll pretend this is 7 way up here. I bet also better pretend this is negative 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this 8, 7 point is going to get cut in half, because remember how it's working with the square root function? Same kind of deal. So I'm going to cut, it, cut the 8 and a half to 4, and then... It's going to get reflect, takes care of the 2, the compression by 2. It flips around the y-axis, so it's over here at 7. Then the negative, the negative flips it, flips it downstairs. So I should be, oh, I should be here at, I should be here at, let's see, 4, 7, and then it's going to flip to negative 4, 7, and then it's going to flip again because of that negative down here at negative 4, 7 or negative 4 and negative 7. So I hope this helps. I, I mean, it's not easy.